Hey guys, Giant Nomad here from Giant Nomad Presents. What's going on? Hey, um, it's the end of the year. It's about 50 something days towards the end of the year. And um, I gotta say, I enjoyed the entire year. It was really great. You know, some personal challenges to focusing on the podcast challenges with that, but then great aspects of it too, getting to learn and 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 being taught by different people, other people I interviewed this year, were fantastic guests, and I learned from every single one of them. And um, you know, the, it's really made the podcast what it is today. So it's it's been fantastic. Now, this podcast today, this episode is really kind of loosey goosey, just kind of a recap of of this past year. You know, um, made a lot of good strides, uh, some great decisions, some some tough decisions, um, some fucked up shit also happened too. You know, it's part of life, right? Let's be honest about shit. And um, but you had to work through it. And the podcast really helped me do that. It, fo- it had had me focus on something that I was really passionate about. You know, last year in 2018, I was able to write my book and publish that. That's on Amazon called Purpose. And this year, the podcast focusing on that was huge. And I'm writing a second book, and um, that's going to be out later on in 2020. And it's I got to say, it's it's. Having a schedule like that of, of work, it's it's awesome. Seeing the results of it, it's even better, of course. And um, was able to get on uh, Voyage ATL, which is a, a digital um, magazine here in Atlanta, to be invited to a conference in Charlotte, which was huge to be invited to that. And, and it was amazing. And guess what? I didn't fucking get to make to it. I, didn't even, I wasn't able to get to it, which was fucked up. Um, it was because of my job. I do have a day job. And because of my job, I was not able to make that particular event. And um, it really showed me that as far as I've come in my podcast, that I'm still controlled by things that prevent me from moving forward. And we all have that, right? So... Yes, the podcast is still going strong. I'm still going to continue it until next year. So let's not get it twisted. That's still happening. And I'm every day getting closer and closer um, to, to really making this the thing to do every single day when I wake up. But yeah, that's what happened now. Invited to this conference, new for months, pegged myself for it on my calendar, ready to go. And... Um, to the conference call a week before, and then within that week before the actual date was told, like, you know, kind of didn't have that time off. That shit burnt me up, man. I was so pissed off. I had to tell um, Tierra, which is the host of Tierra Nicole. She's great. Uh, you can find her podcast, her episode on um, <clears throat> and the playlist. And um, she's very gracious, very, you know, very understanding, but I wasn't. I was just fucking hot. That's told her how pissed off I was. She knew how pissed off I was. And But I had her tell the story anyway and explain to folks why I wasn't there. So they understand why they were there for that conference. You know, um, to hear about people speaking and how, you know, they're doing things entrepreneur-wise or just content-wise and that, yeah, even though I'm making content, it's coming out, I still have a fucking day job. Um... And I didn't have all the control I needed to make that event happen. I'm pegged to go next year. And I'm going next year no matter fucking what. So that's a fucking no-brainer right there. I'm definitely going to fucking make it. Um, But this is every day, right? These are things that we discuss. Or you talk about yourself in your car ride to work. Or maybe you're at lunch thinking about shit. Or maybe you're at home and talking to your spouse. Or maybe you're not talking to your spouse about how fucked up you feel about not being able to control what you want to control and doing the things that you want to do. This year was a prime example of me doing that. and It was like a tug of war where I felt I felt so great that I was able to do the episodes and record them and, and speak to folks for as long as I was able to speak to them and they were very interesting and edit the fuck out of everything. And then I still had to get up next morning and go to the fucking job. Man. Whew. Yeah. 
you have to execute at a high level on what you're passionate of what you want to do. So, you know, grind, 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 hustle, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. The same shit you hear from every other fucking, like, you know, life coach and, and, and motivational speaker type of shit. So when we do differently next year, it's going to be kind of the way I film the content. You know, doing something that's going to be a little more, I don't know, documentary style, you know, kind of playing with different things. If you haven't seen the past few podcasts on YouTube, if you listen to this on Spotify or iTunes or Google, or Google um, you go to my YouTube channel and um, you can see how I played with the different styles of, of recording and interviewing folks. So um, I'm still going to speak to people from across the world, which is dope as fuck. I was able to do that. I spoke to several people from Kuwait. To say that, that was amazing. But, you know, I got to, to meet people and, and, and they're, they're, they're beautiful folks and was able just to really get down and dirty with them and speak to them and, 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 and really get their voice out and heard too, right? So the goal is to get more of that happening. Man, maybe even take a trip there or to different places and really uh, elevate the content that I'm filming and people I'm talking to. So look out for that going into 2020, the different styles. So I may not be putting out as many per se um, videos because of how big they may become as far as production. You know, how long it may take me to record with someone and editing and all that stuff. So um, I'm still thinking one a week. I'm going to try to, you know, uh, get a lot more banked up um, and then be able to release a whole season or little by little of a season and still work on the next season while that season being released. But, um, man, like, I really want to know how you guys did your thing. You know, how do you feel about your year this past year? You know, did you get to do the things you want to do? Or, or, or did you fuck up and lie to yourself? Or did you really talk too much and no fucking action? You know, podcasts are huge and they're fun. You know what I'm saying? And um, everyone almost has one, right? But not everyone sticks with them. And it just goes to show you, depending on how much love you have for it, and how you really want to monetize yourself. Those are the, the questions, right? How do I monetize it? Well, yeah, that's one thing about next year is about putting something together to show people how to monetize your podcast. You know, um, it's not as hard as you think it is, but you got to be consistent. You got to put the work into it, you know, editing, audio, you know, visuals, you're going to do a video podcast, all that jazz. It's fucking huge. Um, but you got to go after it like anything else in life. So, um, that's what we're going to do in 2020. You're going to see the podcast. You're going to see exactly how things are coming together. Um, I have some ideas. I don't want to give you all the ideas right now because I want to make sure I'm able to deliver on those ideas, right? Again, I have a fucking day job. And I have to maneuver my schedule around that. So does it prevent me from the type of work that I want to do and record and film? It does. But I can't let that be a fucking excuse to stop me. So I have to be more creative with my time because of family, of course. I got to spend time with the wife and kids, right? Because the wife will kill me on top of work, on top of, you know, just downtime that I want for myself. Sometimes I just don't want to fucking record and it's fine. You know, um, I found this cadence about myself and how I like to have some time off for myself. You know, I got back into the gym. You know, now, actually a month ago, and me and my wife both are doing it together, and I have this great dynamic duo. We hired a trainer. There are all these things. It's fantastic, and loving the time we spend with each other. We even go, um, after our workout, we go into the um, sauna, we go to the, the whirlpool, and then we go to the pool, right in the gym, and we, we just hang out, and we're there for maybe, you know, hour and a half, or sometimes two hours, and we're just chilling talking, vibing, loving each other. That's our time. It's relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Even down to, she has me doing Pilates, which is dope. We do that once a week, so that's pretty cool, too, doing Pilates. I never thought I'd do that shit. But, no, a kid from Brooklyn, who would have thought that? But um, things are going to be going differently for 2020. Um, 
the content as far as the stories, hopefully to get more deeper, more vibrant, me getting better as a host, you know, um, that's the biggest thing, right? So about growing and getting better and learning and, and really dividing my time up correctly and then monetizing this motherfucker so then we can just fucking have a blast with it. And I have to upgrade some equipment too. You know, my, my equipment I'm using is fantastic. It's held me down for a long time. I need to get some better lighting, you know, get a couple more cameras, you know, maybe a couple more mics. Um, but man, it's been a dope year. I have nothing to complain about. The only thing I do have to complain about is the times that I fucked up and didn't take advantage of the time that I had. Or failed on following up on a potential guest. Or maybe I didn't even follow up enough. Or maybe I followed up too much and scared them away. These are things I have to work on and learn, right? And that's what I did this year was a whole bunch of fucking learning. And it was so much fun. I even got down to making time to read again. Which I was like, what am I doing with my time? I'm reading, I'm, I'm recording. But these are things I want to do. And I think that so many times we've Listen to other people, other speakers and whoever, and they tell you, grind, 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 don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep, don't rest. You rest when you die. You can't rest when you die because you fucking be dead. You have one life. What I say about this right now is find out the life you want to live and figure out the timing of everything. Spend time doing the things that you love most. If you want to be creative and create, then fucking do so. If you have a family, you have to figure out how to involve them into it. If you want to do an uh, extra activity, for me to get back into reading, which I've always loved, that's why I write. And for me to write better, I have to read more. All right? you got to be a student of what you're doing. A never-ending student and always evolving and learning from others. So this podcast is not going to be super long. But I, I, I implore you to go out there and challenge yourself this year in a way that you haven't challenged yourself before. To finally do something that you really want to fucking do and make it happen. I encourage you all to have a fucking blast with life. And stop listening to everyone. Do what the fuck you want to do. It's not going to be wrong for you. That's the biggest person you really have to worry about. Or the competition, it's all within yourself. So, once you decide to maneuver around that, and get it through your thick fucking skull that you're the fucking bomb. Then who's to say you can't do anything you fucking want to do in life? And don't worry about age. Because I'm an old motherfucker as you can see right here. Well, if you can't see because you listen to the podcast. Bunch of gray hairs in my beard. I got some coming up right here too. Yeah. But the wifey said this makes me look distinguished. So I'm going to keep it. But. Yeah guys. So look out, the rest of this year going out, I probably won't have any more guests because it's the holidays. I'm going to let them breathe a little bit. And it gives you time to record. So I'm going to go ahead and give these kind of solo, small episodes to keep you guys still engaged and let you guys know what's going on. And this may just be some of my thoughts on what's coming up on the news and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then look forward to, in the new year, you know, a new style of podcasting, if if it's even that anymore, you know, like I said, Johnny Nomad presents. It's to present the stories of the people that don't get to be heard. So with that being said, if you know anyone that has a great story, nonprofits, charities, just great people in the local Atlanta area, um, let me know. Even if you're worldwide, hit me up. You can email me, and I'm going to put the email somewhere around here. And also in the show notes, the email is going to be down there as well. Email me. Uh, you can also DM me on Instagram at Johnny Nomad Presents. And uh, my email is johnnynomadpc at gmail.com. So email me, DM me. Let me know if it's yourself or somebody that you know that you may be interested in coming on the podcast to talk about their story and we'll discuss things and 
Let's make it work. Let's make it happen. Let's get these real stories out there that people need to fucking hear. That are not being covered. You know what I'm saying? Real true stories of brown and black folk that's intriguing and amazing. Let's just make it happen. So, all right, guys. I'm going to be out. Thank you all for the support and for the love. You guys have been amazing. So, um, I hope you guys can continue to support me. And um, I love you all. You guys are a fantastic fucking audience. You're the fucking bomb. So, peace out. All right. Ha, ha, ha.